Which part of the brain is responsible for obesity? Many people think it's our willpower and that patients who are obese have a lack of moral fibre. However, it's actually the subcortical areas of the brain, such as the hypothalamus and nucleus tractus solitarius, that sit at the bottom of the brain that control our vital functions, including hunger and fullness. When we look at where the hypothalamus is situated, we see that it does not have that much contact with the areas of the brain we use for philosophy or mathematics, also called the cortical areas of the brain. For that reason, it is difficult for somebody to think themselves thin. When we're offered a choice of dessert between a piece of broccoli or a lovely piece of cake, most of us will select the second. Why do we behave like this when both of those foods may have similar nutrient value? To understand this, we have to go to Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or fMRI studies. These studies use pictures to determine which part of the brain receives the most blood flow when we look at a palatable food. Reward systems are activated when palatable food pictures are shown to normal and overweight people. We can then see which reward centres in which specific parts of the brain receive more blood flow when a picture of palatable food is shown. A glucagon-like peptide 1 analogue, when injected into the periphery, is taken up by discrete areas of the brain related to hunger and fullness. This GLP-1 analogue binds to the subcortical areas of the brain, such as the arcuate nucleus, where our hunger and fullness signals are situated. However, just because the analogue binds it doesn't mean the GLP-1 activates the subcortical areas of the brain. By using fMRI scans of the brain, we can see that GLP-1 not only binds, but also activates these specific areas of the brain related to reward. Surgical treatments for obesity include gastric banding and gastric bypass. These patients have operations on their stomachs and lose a quarter of their weight, but often they come back to clinic and ask, Doctor, where did they operate? Did they operate in my tummy or did they operate in my head? Because all the signals I now receive are actually in my head. When we investigate patients after gastric bypass with fMRI and pictures of palatable foods, we see a reduction in their reward centres. The operation on the stomach changes the way the brain is responding to the visual cue of palatable food. This explains why all patients eat less food, and specifically less calorie-dense food, as the areas of the brain involved with appetite and reward are now down-regulated. In conclusion, calorie-dense food activates brain reward centres. Therapies that attenuate appetite centres also reduce reward areas in the brain. To control appetite and food intake, therapies need to target these subcortical areas of the brain.